recognition and counting using a number line to 1000. Numbers on a number line get bigger as we go to the right. From 0 to 10 they get bigger. And the numbers on a number line get smaller as we go to the left. From 10 to 0 is smaller. We've seen number lines that go to 10, like this, and to 100, like this. They're smaller to the left and bigger to the right. Smaller at 0, bigger at 100. And we know number lines can continue forever, way beyond 100. Let's look at a number line that goes to 1000. This line goes up in hundreds. And this line goes up in 50s. They look different but both go from 0 to 1000. It's easier to find a place on a number line if the number is marked on the line. Where's 650? It's here. If a place is not numbered we have to estimate. Where would 275 be? We know it's between 250 and 300. It would be here. Let's find the same places on a number line that goes up in hundreds. We know 650 is halfway between 600 and 700. It would be here. 275 is between 200 and 300, but closer to 300. It will be here. Can you place the number 3 on the line? Sometimes it helps to split the gaps into smaller sections. We can half this, it's 50, half again is 25. So 3 would be right by the 0 here. Sometimes a smaller range of numbers is shown on a number line. This number line ranges from 948 to 958 and goes up in 1s. We can use it to work out how many jumps from one number to another. How about from 953 here to 957? Let's count the jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 jumps to 957. As each jump equals 1, we could say 953 plus 4 equals 957. Or 957 minus 4 equals 953. This number line ranges from 938 to 958 and goes up in twos. We can use it to work out the difference between one number and another. What about from 948 to 956? Let's work out the jumps. We start at 948, count the jumps. One, two, three, four. Four jumps from 948 to 956. We know each jump is two numbers. So four jumps is four times two, which is eight. The difference is eight. So we could say 948 plus eight equals 956. Or we could say 956 minus eight equals 948. Remember, always check the scale on the number line. There's a mistake in the number line, which number is in the wrong place? Let's work out the gaps between the numbers. 338 to 339 is plus 1, then plus 1, then plus 1. 341 to 344 is plus 3. Most of the number line goes up in 1s until we get to 344. So 344 is in the wrong place. Which statement describes D? D is 800, it's lower than 800 or higher than 800. The number line goes up in hundreds from 700 to 800. Let's find D. It's here. Is D exactly 800? No, it's not. Is D higher than 800? No, it's not. It's between 700 and 800. Is it lower than 800? Yes, it is. So the answer is the second answer, it's lower than 800. Remember, 
numbers on a number line get bigger as we go to the right. Numbers on a number line get smaller as we go to the left. All the numbers don't always appear on the number line. If a number doesn't appear, we have to estimate where it would be on the number line. And always check the scale on the number line.